here's uh, part of the coastline of uh, Maui and a spectacular view. Uh, we come up here with uh, with our Jeep that we rented. Right there, there's our uh, Jeep Wrangler. The Maryland is uh, actually downhill here. Looking in the other direction, there's just the, every view you see here is amazing. So. That was a little rock that just fell. Western, okay. We're in western Maui, getting ready to go over to eastern Maui on these uh, cliff sides with single lane roads that we're in the Jeep now and we're climbing, I think, near the top of one. We're going to get a spectacular view, I think, in a second. Take a look just to the side here to see the narrowness of the road right here. And oh. there's another car. And there's another okay. car. Jump below the us. All right. Thank you. These are some high pasture lands. We're like at the highest part of the island. There's actually cows out there. volcano to watch the sunrise. Sun shining on our faces. Just watched okay. coming up. <laughs> Directly behind me are the western mountains of Maui. Okay, this is it. This is my 5,000th mile. I just completed it coming down Mount Hilalekahakaheke here in Hawaii. So, yeah, baby! 
5,000 miles. Couldn't be a more beautiful spot. Wait, wait. This is the Io Valley, and uh, that is the uh, Io Valley I needle. Um, the needle. The needle. Of uh, the Io Valley, right it's between the, us. There. It's the oldest part of Hawaii, to be what's left of some of the original volcano for the Western Maui. For Western Maui. There it is. Hear the bird? It sounds like a, a rooster kind of thing. Anyways, here we go. Hey. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, Maui, it's beautiful. We're now down a little bit from the mountain into the rainforest area. Yep. And uh, behind us are little waterfalls and rapids. You might be able to see them. These are all over the place. When they're small, they look like lime. When they get bigger, they'll up. Good chance. They're peachy inside. Okay. And all full of seeds. Smells like papaya. And then the pod coming down and the flower. It's right there. In two years, the sugar cane will be 10 to 15 feet tall and it is ready to be harvested. Now, green and gold coconuts, even though they are the youngest, they can weigh the most, sometimes as much as 15 pounds. Back in the days here in Hawaii, we used to have more deaths due to coconuts falling on people's heads than actual shark attacks. On every coconut, you're always going to see Coco the monkey. So from eye to eye, on the brown ones it shouldn't go through, but this one is kind of going through. And the mouth will always be the soft spot. <laughs> and this is perfect water. Now good clear water will normally come from the green and gold coconuts like this one. See? I come home happy every day. <laughs> <laughs> and ta-da! The other coconut. It's our last day on Maui. There we go. And uh, we're in the uh, the coffee plantation here uh, up on the hills, right above uh, where our hotel is. You can see um, in the background there. And of course, what's behind us are lots and lots and lots of coffee right. plants. What's the name of this place? This is the Kanapalani yeah, kind of Coffee Plantation. We bought some of that coffee at their shop, which is uh, three or four miles down the road here. Um, yesterday, and we'll be bringing those back for gifts. So, anyways, we've had a great time on Maui. We're heading for the Big Island. Yeah. Aloha. There's another steam vent. What's the 
the matter? And then there is a caldera right in the middle. You can see the steam rising from it. And then continuing around. It's a huge steam vent. And you can see the wind just blowing it straight out. And all around it, really, it's really lush growing fern, mostly ferns and stuff like that. How does it feel? Grass. How does the... Very warm, because it's kind of chilly up here. And there's no sulfur to it, no smell. It's it's, it's just no, water, it's mostly. Just... So there's a very hot magma below us that's, I guess, they think solidified, but still very hot. And so the rainwater goes down in and then steams up and out. Steams back out. see two different levels of collapse of the caldera. We're standing in the middle of the caldera, and where you There's see the... cliffs up there, higher cliffs, and then we've got lower cliffs, right. and then we're on a flat terrace area, and all these have collapsed down from the original um, volcano edge, caldera right. edge. So, after so we're the, in the caldera. After the magma uh, explodes out of the volcano, the rest of the ground collapses at various times, and those are two different collapses that you're seeing here now. So, And you can see the sulfur, the yellow, that's been deposited on the um, on that second collapse level right here. A lot of native plants to Hawaii, and this big tall bush is one of them. It's called the Ohia plant. It's got these beautiful red bushy things, and paley Paley, the goddess of the volcano, her color is red and this is her plant. see the main crater off in the distance and we'll be hiking down there if we take a look we'll get a little closer we'll see some people that are hiking way down there right now we're walking in the on the Kilauea Ika trail uh, above a lava flow that flowed in 1959 this is a four mile hike we're up above. This is like a beautiful rainforest area that we're in right now. This is really soft on this tree. We were saying it's got these lovely fibers. We wonder if something could be done with it besides bird's nests. It just it strings. It doesn't. It's little short fibers. A conspicuous non-native plant along the trail is Kahili ginger. I'm three quarters of a mile to a mile into the hike, and there's the lava flow lake bed. I guess you'd call it. Where we're hiking down. We're down in the on the floor of the crater. We've descended from uh, the heights you see there, the edges of the caldera. 400 feet down through some switchbacks, and you can see the hui hui. I think is what it's called, the rough lava. You can see where the um, side of the crater gave way here and just did a slide right towards us right here. There's Pele 
Chinese flower, right in the middle of all this desolate, collapsed lava. I'm in a lava tube at Kiowa. Okay, we are on the chain of Craters Road, coming down off of um, Kilauea. And uh, this is where all the lava flows to the sea. You can see various lava flows at various periods of time. And uh, yeah, you can, they look like rivers. They look like black. And now as we continue down the uh, chain of Craters Road, down to the sea, you can see all of the lava, the black area here. And there's a shot right now. Best I can get from this distance, I don't know how close we'll be able to get to it, of the uh, lava flowing into the ocean and kicking up all the steam. It's pretty amazing. And as we come to the end of the road, this is what we encounter. Here's where the lava flow came, right out over the road. The National Park Service has uh, helped us out with a sign here. Uh, after the lava flow came across, they wanted to make sure no one was driving any further on this road. So they posted this sign. Here we are, Big Island. Come to the end of the road, literally. Um, we're at the ocean, waves are crashing. It's been a beautiful day. We've hiked miles into craters. And Long lava flows, and uh, this is about as good as it gets. Don't you think? Yep. yep. Okay. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. We're in the Hawaiian Volcanoes National Ooh. Park, and behind me is a crater in the caldera of Kilo Kilauea. Kilauea, and it has a vent that's constantly leaking vapors and gas. And now that it's full dark, you can see the reflection of the magma that's down in the vent against the cloud of steam coming up. Okay, for any of our friends or relatives who end up here on the big island of Hawaii and want to find Solo, our graffiti marked on the hillside, if it's still here at that time. I'll give you a couple landmarks. You're looking out at the, uh, at the Pacific Ocean. This is the west coast. There's the call box. And then directly across the street, you see where it says Solo. That's nice. That's for you. What we're looking at here, specifically for Phil, this is Mauna Kea.